another month, another budget video. Welcome back to another budget video. I can't believe we're in September and like literally four months away from the year ending. Honestly, I'm secretly happy about it because I, this year has just been long, tiresome. I'm over it and I'm sure a lot of you are too. But let's get into the budget video. For this month, we got paid a little bit extra and by we, I mean Courtney. I don't know, the company's doing like this weird incentive thing and I'm not complaining. So my incomes have stayed the same but Courtney this was a little bit um higher this month which was great because if you have all the extras that we had to pay for <laughs> This extra money couldn't have come at a better time. So for recurring expenses, which I don't think I've ever mentioned what my recurring expenses are. And for the most part, it's basically just your basics. But my recurring expenses at this stage is my rent, food, petrol, water, electricity. A fiber is a recurring expense because I work from home. So it is a necessity for me to earn an income. My phone contract is also considered a recurring expense expense in my view if you want recurring expenses are different personal care is another one which is i call it personal care but it's mostly just like your toiletries which is like a necessity my website domain is also under recurring expenses i know there's another thing but i can't remember what it is anyway so those fall under my recurring expenses obviously it is basically the things that you are required to need my phone contract doesn't need to be in there but i think i just put it in there because it's something that i have to pay for every single month and when the phone contract is done i actually don't want to keep it anymore it was essentially courtney's one and then my phone courtney said i needed to upgrade my phone which i didn't need to because my iphone 8 at the time was working perfectly for the most part they've stayed the same you or petrol i lowered because it's going down by almost three and that is a massive decrease and i'm so happy about it because our petrol bill is insane and so i decreased that but i still pay the same on my credit card i don't know if i mentioned this as well but my credit card is set to a certain amount and then every single month when i it paid i pay the full balance of it and then i use the credit card like till not and then again pay the whole credit card in full so that's kind of what i do and the credit card is predominantly only used for food petrol uh, water electricity and personal care and then there's like there'll either be some money left not money and then obviously they take the fees on it because i think there's insurance and service fees and little things like that so i always try and make sure that it's paid in full even though i decrease the petrol category the credit card is still paid in full either way food is still up and down up and down i'm finding that i'm spending just a lot more every week and so what i want to do this month is like the first week of pay week is obviously it's always a big amount because you are replacing toilet paper and washing powder and stay soft and things that you use once well that you'll buy once a month versus like where it's paltry and things that you have to buy weekly i can't buy in bulk because we live in a small apartment and so buying in bulk for us makes no sense because we don't have the space to store it so i know there's a lot of debate about like how you can save money but and obviously buying in bulk is the number one thing can't do that i am looking to do like one big week and then one small week as i mean like being stingy and like saying okay we're gonna eat chicken food and i'll make different dishes with just chicken breast type of thing because it's just not coming down and i want to see how this experiment will work this month personal care went up by 150 rand which was expected because a lot of our like my skincare and vitamins and things um were done policies have all stayed the same debt interesting with debt we're pausing this month on paying extra on courtney's loan and i'm gonna tell you why because it's all part of the extras originally for savings i had emergency fund access fund and a savings bracket but then again you know how those curveballs just like hit you that's what happened. So I do it. I did put money in emergency fund. That's a must for me every single month. Like I, without fail, that is something that I have to do. Access fund was an access fund. And then I had savings, but I took savings out. Subscriptions and those have all stayed the same. And then for extras, Courtney has a fine that he has to pay for. So that's a fun time for me. 
I literally at this point just need to make a category for Courtney's finds. I, I can't be anchoring him or it is what it is. Um, but it's not a bad find. The finds only 200 rand, but it is like such an unnecessary thing for me to pay for or for us to pay for. Oh, there's a thing that I have to pay my mom for every single month. We didn't borrow money from her, don't get me wrong. But it was it's a thing that we did with her a year or so ago. And we kind of have to pay her back now. Um, it's under extras now, but it's actually going to have to fall under debt. And I can't elaborate on it. It's not my place to. That is something that's going to be a little extra. It doesn't really come out of from the savings or the reason why we're not paying extra for the loan. That has always been in the... It's, not always been in the budget. It's been implemented since last month in the budget. So it doesn't make us short in any way. I mean it does, but um, yeah. The thing that really knocked me out of the park was my medication. So I did put in the budget as extras for my doctor. So my doctor I always pay an extra month, like a set fee when I go every time. So that was in the extras, but the medication killed me, guys. One of the pills that I had to get was literally a thousand rand. I did you not a thousand rand and that was just one out of the five other medications i had to get so that really knocked us out of the park because for me everything is out of pocket so that is what literally killed us and on top of that i had to buy a memory foam pillow it was actually a need it wasn't a one because a lot of my headaches if you watch my vlogs, you'll know that I'm having a lot of health issues. I still have a lot of health issues. When I say a lot of health issues, I'm now being referred to a neurologist. So, yeah, it's not a good time for me right now. But, um, so, Courtney and I both decided that let's not pay extra on the loan this month. Because we don't know what other curveball is going to be thrown at us. And hence why there's nothing in savings. Because the savings had to cover for the medication that was unexpected. So, there is still money left. Uh, more or less and so we don't want to go overboard this month and like i said i had to buy the memory foam pillow because it really helps with my neck and shoulder support and those are the areas where i literally wake up in the morning and my headache stems from there and so we're just trying to do little things here and there that will kind of help ease me not getting these like pain and things like that they're also referring me to a physio so that is also something that is going to be <laughs> But from next month onwards, I am going on a medical aid. So I'm officially on a medical aid, but I can only use that medical aid within three months. So basically, I can only, only use it in the beginning of next year. At least I'm honored and I was going to go on income protection. And when I spoke with my financial advisor, I wasn't expecting what I would have to pay per month. And so it's not feasible for both court, for us in our budget at the moment to add that in it i'll look at income protection next year when courtney's loans are at a at least one of it is gone you know he's got three loans i need to get rid of one of it before i can add a lot more because reading medical aid is a big chunk of money and then i have to look at gap cover which isn't too bad gap cover from what i understand is about two three hundred rand depending which one you go on so that is definitely something that i have to look into the only small little tiny little extra things that we did oh yes we did buy extra forgot about this on Courtney's Mr. Price account because we've just been abusing it too much and I told Courtney I want to pay that whole thing in full and have it reduced because he needs to have some form of credit so his credit is his Mr. Price account and my credit is my credit card so we don't have any other store cards and stuff like that. I want to just have that reduced I just want to get that out of the way and just like not deal with it because like I said we did abuse that account a little bit too much. I think that this is going to be... <sighs> It's gonna be a little bit of a, a few rough months and I say that for my household you might not think it's gonna go rough each household and this is the one thing my friend always told me is that when someone said they're struggling they are struggling because they were used to a certain lifestyle and now that lifestyle is no longer there a lot of us like to throw stones when we say oh but you're struggling but you're going on a holiday but at the moment my biggest struggle at this stage is just medical bills also still have to get a path keep a bill that still has to come in because i did special blood tests uh it's why they referred me to a neurologist i think for the foreseeable future it's kind of medical bills that is just life life will throw you these 
unexpected curveballs no matter how much i've planned to get courtney out of debt or strategically planned to do like the f categories a lot smaller i hope that you are still on your budget journey and if they are curveballs just take it as it is i just hope that you don't get yourself into more debt like try and avoid getting yourself into more debt and i think the best thing i did for myself was really making sure that i have an emergency fund and a little bit of savings my savings ends up being depleted all the time and it is what it is but at least i've got a safety net am i I also I'm so happy that a few years ago Court and I took this two-in-one investment policy because that's another safety net Court and I are just so grateful to have so what I mean is that I Court and I took care of this two-in-one savings account where 75% of it is fixed and 25% percent of it is you can take it out for emergencies and we've used it once before like two three years ago sometimes i check on it like once or twice a year and i'm so grateful to also have that because if i do get these massive medical bills i can take money out of there without me being in more debt i guess so i'm starting to look a lot more into policies and things like that but i also don't want to overwhelm myself to a point where all i pay for is policies the ends why i was like okay just get the medical aid and then when one of courtney's loans are done look into income protection because if i'm gonna be a lot more ill i have to look at all of these things so yeah i hope that you are doing well on your journey that you're still sticking to your plan and sometimes your plan is just not gonna go the way you want it so don't be discouraged by it deal with the issue that you have to deal with and then get back on the bandwagon i hope you'll have an amazing month and i will see you in the next budget video <laughs> bye guys